Hi, I'm Chris Visaya, and today I'll show you how to create and manage alerts in Splunk Enterprise. An alert is a function you can create to proactively monitor all your data in real time, to identify issues, problems, and attacks before they impact your customers and services. In this scenario, we want to be alerted if we are experiencing unusually high server errors on our web hosts. We want to save this search as an alert, so we click Save as Alert. We can then give our alert a title and an optional description. There are two options for alert types, Scheduled and Real-Time. With Scheduled, we can set the search to run on a specific schedule and trigger alerts if conditions are met when the search runs. By selecting Real-Time, the search runs in real-time and triggers an alert each time conditions are met. We'll start with a scheduled alert. Here, we can choose how often the search should be run by selecting from the menu or entering cron syntax. We are going to run this search every 15 minutes past the hour. We can then choose the trigger condition. An alert can be triggered by the number of search results returned, number of hosts in the search results, number of sources in the search results, or a custom condition that you can define. We'll choose number of results. We can choose to have the alert fire when the number of results is greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, drops by, or raises by a specified number. We set it to is greater than five. We can set the alert to trigger the alert action just once for all results of the search, or trigger the alert action for each individual result. If we want to suppress triggering alerts after an alert is triggered for a specified period of time, we can click the throttle option. By checking it, we can enter the amount of seconds, minutes, hours, or days to suppress alerts. When choosing for each result in the trigger options, we are given the choice to enter a field value to suppress. We'll choose to trigger just once and then add a trigger action, where we can select one or more ways to be notified of the alert. The trigger actions allow us to post to the triggered alerts list, log the event to a Splunk endpoint, run a script we've uploaded to the server, send an email, choose a webhook which posts to a URL we specify, or manage and browse for alert actions built by the Splunk community. We select Add to Triggered Alerts and choose a severity. Clicking Save, we are taken to a page where we can set permissions and edit our alert. By clicking View Alert, we see information about the alert we created and edit its properties. Sometimes, you might want to know when events occur in real time. We would like to know if one of our servers throws a 500 error when a customer tries to make a purchase. We type in our search, save the alert, and give it a title. This time, we'll select Real Time, which again, creates alerts as they occur, depending on our specifications. As with the scheduled alert type option, we can choose to be notified by an alert based on the number of results, hosts, sources, or a custom condition. But we also have the per result option as well, which triggers an alert whenever an event is returned. We'll go with that. In our throttling option, we specify a field value to suppress results on. For all field values, we can use an asterisk. If we have a server issue, we could easily get hundreds of alerts in a matter of minutes. So we choose to suppress triggering of the alert for 15 minutes. We'll add the action to add to triggered alerts, and choose a severity level. From here, we'll save it and return to our search screen. We can view triggered alerts from the activity menu in the Splunk bar. Here we can filter alerts by app, owner, severity, level, and alert. We can also view results, edit the search, or delete the triggered alert. We can view and manage our alerts by clicking the alerts link in the app menu bar. From here, we can view information about our alerts, open them in search, and edit them. 
This is just a glimpse of what you can do with alerts. To learn more about Splunk Enterprise, check out our other videos, documentation, or register for courses from Splunk Education.